So we could just stay and earn uh, a little more money. So let's try calling up Hans Kana, the uh, the last of the VJs. <laughs> So the thing about Hans is he won't actually even talk to you unless you have a certain amount of fame. More specifically, 200 points of fame. However, once you do have that amount of fame, you definitely want to call him up because he is by far the VJ that pays you the most. Now I've reverted back to a save where I have the minimum amount of fame required to actually talk to him and I want to show off a, a little exploit that's actually possible in this game. The thing about when you create a video is you can save it in two different spots, either in memory or on disk. Saving it on disk means you save it as an actual file on your hard drive, which means that you can then load up that file in other playthroughs. For example, I saved a rather valuable video from one of my, uh, my earlier playthroughs, which is filled with a lot of stuff from pretty much the end game. Now, I'm not gonna show it because that would be spoilers, but I'm gonna try to uh, show it to Kana, see if he'll uh, pay me a nice amount of money for it. Hello, here's Hans. Hello, Hans. What wollen Sie? I want to sell you a music video. Hans zeigt nur die populärsten Videos. Warum sollte er gerade ihres nehmen wollen? I think you will like this one. Sehr gut. Schicken Sie mir sofort zu. You uh, might want to have something done about those eyebrows, sir. That's uh, really creepy. Sehr gut. Ich werde mir Ihre Arbeit ansehen und rufe Sie dann zurück. Ihr Video ist, ist super. Also, hier ist mein Angebot. So yeah, you can see how Hans is pretty good. Something to note, uh, in a recording that I did earlier, which I actually forgot to record, he actually paid me 420,000 instead for the exact same video. So uh, another reminder to always save before you try to sell a video. I will take it. Super. So yeah, the ability to import videos from your earlier playthroughs makes subsequent playthroughs much, much more painless. Because you can pretty much just use every video you, that you've already made and not have Ooh. to make any videos ever again. Now that we have a ridiculous amount of money, uh, we can get ready for actually going out and progressing. Now, what we encountered last time was we couldn't actually get to wherever we were going because we were burnt to a crisp. In order to get past that, you need to bag a bunch of water with you. Back in episode 2, when we looked at the crystal ball, the first thing that we actually saw was an image of the video hall and an image of the drink bar. That was actually a hint. As vague as it was. Now, there's also a second thing we need to bring with us, and that is a special video chip. Uh, it's not the one that we already have in our inventory. Rather, it's we gotta load up a blank video chip with a special video. The special video that we need to bring with us is rather cutesy in a way. More specifically, it needs to be a video with one frame just filled with as much cutesy heart stuff as possible. Even the titles could bear with uh, having really positive lovey-dovey shit in it. I hear you crawling at night. And uh, of course the greatest love song of our time accompanying it. Now, you want to take this video, saving it to memory, and copying it over to two different blank video chips. We pretty much have everything we need for now, so let's head back out and see if we can actually progress. Yeah, you are my kitty cat. Yeah, my little kitty cat. You are 
back in the video halls, so as you could probably guess by us having brought along a bunch of water, the way to get past these is you need to actually douse out the flames. Now when you use a canteen full of water, you have the second option of squirting it. Just use two of them, douse these out, and uh, the answer is forever. They don't actually turn back on by themselves. Now behind those, there are these three very dimly lit spikes. One of them lights up orange when you press it. When you find that one, press it a couple times and this comes up. I certainly didn't. Of course, what you need to do is you need to not actually save Earth. You need to save the Metal Lord. Because Earth is filled with thieving bastards and the Metal Lord reigns supreme. Once you do get through that, you're presented with this. Now I can see the deadly video that's playing right now is the one that's playing in the video hall. The one that basically kills us when we walk through it. In order to actually do anything about it, we have these VIT chips that we brought with us. We take the one with our lovely little video on it, pop it in. And now you can see in the external source, there's a love video. Activate that one and just exit the terminal. We'll see that the video hall is a little different now. Now, to actually change the video hall to show this, I believe there's several different kinds of clips that you can use, but I found that just overloading the video with hearts is the most simple and effective way of doing it, really. Now, you walk out of there, you can see it's, it's pretty useful. Just passing through it instantly restores your life force to 100, but uh... If you walk out of the video hall and come back, something uh... different happens. And as you can see here, if you walk through that kind of video hall, your stats are actually randomized. I got pretty lucky here. I got some pretty nice increases to my physical and mental energies and only a very small decrease in life force, but it could have also gone way, way worse. Now, uh, you've made it through the, the video hall actually better for wear, and uh, let's see what's in here. Open. Turns out, not actually a lot. Or, at least, for right now. We can't actually do anything in here. We're missing something. This giant monitor doesn't actually have any sort of interface or buttons or anything to turn it on, so... I guess we... gotta go again. So... It's kind of unclear as to where we're even supposed to go now. I mean... If anything, we need to find card X, but where would that even be? And one of these lamps or whatever? Well, what do you know? When you press any of the lamps in here, you get that question mark, but that one lamp on the left side exiting out of the the door into the big monitor room you'll pick up card X check it out so well at least now we can progress that's something right
Now we could finally get in here and see what's actually to find in here. Alright, let's see, uh... Well... So after playing through the entire game up to this point again, let's, uh, try again. See what's actually inside here. Now, walking inside, looking on the left, you get this. This is actually really important. Mostly because of the numbered paths here, but also because of the red parts and specifically the question mark that's popping up all over it. These specific marks where the question mark is coming up is where you can find some interesting items. Here we have a little warning from the Metal Lord who probably should practice the spelling a little bit. And in the middle of the room, if you press this small orb up here, open up this room here. Now, we got a couple of things here. One of them was this uh, Blaster E guitar, which is if you've just been going with a, a twanger up until now, it's a it's a decent upgrade. Mo. Now what we got other than that is a uh, cheeseburger, which I'm not sure if it's a good idea to eat a cheeseburger that's been sitting inside of an unrefrigerated stone slab. Some uh, coffee and uh, TV remote. What the hell is this thing for? Who could ever guess? So yeah, we'll uh, see where this remote will take us next time. Remote control! I'm not looking forward to it.